Welcome students. So we will try to solve few problems related to viscosity in this video. So the first one that we have here is the space between two large inclined parallel planes. So the planes are parallel to each other but they are inclined which is 6 mm and is filled with the fluid. So the space is filled with the fluid. The planes are inclined 30 degree to the horizontal. Since they are parallel both will have the same angle with the horizontal. A small thin square plate. So since we have given it as a thin plate, we will not consider the thickness. Right? And we will be doing a sum with thickness where uh, we have to consider the thickness and then find the uh, dy between the plate and the fixed plate, which we will be doing in a later stage. And a square plate of 100 mm side, 100 mm side slides freely down, a par down parallel and midway between the inclined plates. So it is in between the inclined planes. So we have two inclined planes, which is at a distance of 6 mm. Now the plate that is sliding down is at the center between these two, uh, between the inclined planes with a constant velocity of 3 meter per second due to a weight of 2 newton. Determine the viscosity of the fluid. So we have to find the viscosity. So the planes are like this, which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. So this is also making an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. Now this distance between these two plates is actually 6 mm. So it is given this is 6 mm. And there is a thin plate. That means we won't consider the thickness of the plate. So there is a thin plate which is at the center. So since the thickness of the plate is not considered, we will divide this whole value that is 6 mm into 2. So that is this is 3 mm and this is 3 mm. So we have 3 mm on both the sides. So this slides down with a velocity of 3 meter per second. In general, if it is an horizontal plate, we have to apply the force and uh, pull it down. That is pull it either along the left side or right side. Now since here, the weight of the fluid, right, weight of the plate itself will act as a force, as a downward force for it to move. As we know, the weight of any body will always act vertically downwards. For example, if I take a body like this, the weight is acting always downwards. Now the upward reaction will be equal to this and there is no horizontal component along the horizontal so that the body moves. What if, if you keep a book on a table and make the table inclined like this? Now the book slides down and falls down. The reason for this is the weight of the body is acting downwards. This makes an angle theta. So this is resolved into two components. This is W sin theta and this W cos theta by resolving. Now this act as a force along this surface. So the body moves along the surface because there is no reaction force even though we have a slight viscous force. So the body is here and both the surface, if you take this, now on this surface, the body is covered with fluid and on the other side also the body is covered with fluid. So both the side there is a shear stress that is acting for the body to move. So the shear stress will resist the movement of the body. So we have to do on both the sides. So my net force my net force or my net resisting force is equal to F1 that will act on this side plus F2 that will act on this side. That is either if I take this as the force which is causing the motion or if I take the inertia force or the resistive force then that will act on this direction due to the viscosity. Now the net force is zero because you are moving with a constant velocity. That means your acceleration is zero. Whatever force you apply is equal to the resistive force. So you are keeping in a constant velocity. So you are moving along the same direction with the same force. So to find this F1 and F2, I could find with the help of tau1 and tau2. So my net shear stress tau is equal to tau1 and tau2 or if I can write my F is equal to tau1 into area plus tau2 into area. Now the area is same, so I can write it as tau1 plus tau2 into area. So to find this tau1 and tau2, what is tau1 according to Newton's law of viscosity? My shear stress tau is equal to mu du by dy. So this is what is my tau1 and tau2. So we have to actually find the viscosity of the fluid. That technically means I have the net force that is acting due to the weight. 
So to find the net force, I have the plane here. This is the second plane. Now this is the body, that is the plate. Now it is making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. So it is making an angle of 30 degree, theta equal to 30 degree with the horizontal. So if I try to find this angle, this will be 60 degree. If I draw it here, I am just drawing one side of the plane. This is the plate. Now this is my vertical. If I close this as a triangle, this is 30 degree, which is the angle made by the inclined plane with the horizontal. This is 90 degree. So the total angle in a triangle is 180. So this has to be 60. This is a corresponding angle. So this is also 60. So now weight of the body is acting downwards, which is W, which is 2 Newton here. So this will be taken as 2 cos 60 and the vertical component for this plane, not for us. Our plane is horizontal and vertical, which is here. This is our vertical plane. So this is 2 sin 60. And we don't need this. We only require this 2 cos 60. This is the total force that is acting on the body. That is, my total force, F is equal to 2 cos 60. So this is my total force. So my F1 plus F2 should be equal to 2 cos 60. Again, to find the tau, I can use the formula tau is equal to mu du by dy. So going back here, my du is the velocity that is 3 meter per second. My dy is 3 mm that is 3 into 10 power minus 3 meter. The same applies here. So both are equal. Again, the velocity and the dis uh, di uh, displacement, that is the distance is same. So my tau 1 will be equal to tau 2 as it is in the center. In case it, it is at a separate distance, maybe from the first plate if it is at 2 mm and from the second plane if it is at 4 mm, then we have to find tau 1 and tau 2 separately. But here, since it is the equal distance, all the other values remains the same. My tau 1 equal to tau 2 equal to mu into du that is 3 meter per second divided by 3 mm that is 3 into 10 power minus 3 meter. So this is my tau 1 and tau 2 value. So my F1 is equal to tau 1 into area. My F2 is equal to tau 2 into area. We have substituted that here as 2 cos 60 that is my total force is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 into area. We have already derived this. So 2 cos 60 is equal to my tau 1 and tau 2 are equal. I can write it as 2 into mu into 3 by 3 into 10 power minus 3 into my area. Now my area of the plate is it is a square plate. So it is a square plate of 100 mm. So if I convert that into meter 0 0.01 meter. 100 by 1000 sorry 0 0.1 meter. So substituting that here 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 and rearranging this equation my mu is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 3 into 2 cos 60 divided by 2 into 3 into 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. I can cancel this out, cancel this out. So 10 power minus 3 by 10 power minus 2 into cos 60 which is equal to 10 power minus 1 into cos 60. So cos 60 you can directly use your calculator to find root 3 2 this is 30 this is 60 so it is 1 by 2. So my mu is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 power minus 1 which is 1 by 2 0 0.5 half into 10 power minus 1 which is 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 2 newton second per meter square or I can write it as 5 into 10 power minus 1 voice. So this is the final answer. So my dynamic viscosity of the fluid is 5 into 10 power minus 1 voice or 0 0.5 voice. So this is the solution for this first question. We will also try to solve two more questions in a small small separate videos. So just to tell you what happened, we took the uh, surfaces 
and the plate is at the middle. So we have found the shear forces that is acting on both surfaces of the plate which is on the top and at the bottom. Now converting that as your total force, finding the total force with the help of the weight of the body since it is inclined that is the weight that is acting with the help of the formula and equating it to the total force shear stress into area is your total force solving it we got the answer for viscosity of the fluid which is 5 into 10 power minus 1 voice. So we will solve the other questions in a later video. Thank you. Happy learning.